To close out this newscast, our last, before Santa's arrival, I'd like to re read a report first submitted many, many years ago. For some of our youngest viewers, perhaps this is the first time you hear it. It was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, all computers were quiet. At rest was even the mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes the jolly old Saint Nicholas, Santa Claus himself, would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while dreams of new laptops danced in their heads. And mom in her nightgown, our pets at her lap, had just settled down for a welcome nightcap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the couch to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew, <laughs> fast as I could, to see the commotion in our neighborhood. The moon on the crest of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer and a quaint little driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his reindeer they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the reindeer they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from head to foot, and his clothes had a smattering of ash and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and I thought, should I offer him some kind of snack? His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks and his nose, bright red like a cherry. His beard was full and more white than a mop. It was quite long, but not quite like that, say, a ZZ Top. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. I laughed when I saw him and I thought, and this is a promise, he looks quite a bit like our news director, Sir Thomas. A weak of, wink of his eye and a nod of his head told me, you can put that silly notion to bed. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk and laying his finger alongside his nose a last parting nod up the chimney he rose he sprang to his sleigh to his reindeer a whistle and away they all flew like a high-powered missile and i heard him exclaim as he flew out of sight merry christmas to all and to all a good night and we do wish you a safe and most joyful weekend from everyone at kbbb 33 merry christmas Desert Metro News is a production of KVBB Television, serving the Victor Valley and surrounding communities. Like us on Facebook or on the internet at www.kvbb.tv.